It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. What you've been watching is just a glimpse of our past four or five hours of our lives. And uh, actually what we're, what we're building and installing today is a filming platform for my TV studios. And hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you back around the boat shop. Who we have on the program also with me is George Metal. George is one of the owners of Deco Boat Lifts. And a little while back, George put in a beamless boat lift at my house in Jupiter for yes. my 32 foot CV. Yeah. And I had a question for him because I've been thinking about this as part of the TV studio for a long time. Could you convert a boat lift into a filming platform to be able to raise the cameraman with the tripod up and down? And you said absolutely. And this is your creation. This is strictly for you, John. Right. I mean, he doesn't do this for the public. This is just friends, this you know, kind of doing this stuff. How, how, big is the, how big is the platform? The platform's about four and a half feet by four and a half feet. Right. Just big enough to get your film film uh, crew and the camera tripod on there. Fantastic, fantastic. This is kind of based off of what category of boat lift, because I know there's a lot of them out there. Well, you take your, your basic elevator lift. It's, uh, it's, it's picking up and lowering in a vertical fashion, just like we're doing here. So I took that basic principle and, and, and converted it to fit your needs. Now, now, Deco has been around since, I think, 1959. Yeah. You are one of the world's oldest, most established, most trusted, most innovative uh, boat lift companies that there are. You, you guys have come up with a lot of the cool ideas in today's modern boat lift, one of them being the cable retention system. And, and, and why is that a big deal when it comes to that cable? Well, the cable retention system was developed in order to, to, to maintain a cable position as you're raising and lowering the lift without the cable going on top of itself and uh, injuring itself. So it's been a great project and it's worked out very well for the company. All right. I believe you're the only boat lift company in the world to manufacture your own gearboxes. They have extremely tight tolerances, which means you're going to get a very quiet very smooth, very fast operating boat lift. And George, what I was hoping we could do today for the audience is, is maybe we could go through some of these different categories and explain them a little bit more in depth. And I really wanted to show what's going on at your place in Safety Harbor, Florida. Your nephew, Chris, has overseen a major upgrade. And, and if you look at the welds, okay, on this filming platform that has a lot to do with it, what's Chris gonna be showing us? Chris is going to show you the latest and greatest in our welding facility. Everything's overhead. It looks fabulous. It gives the guys on the floor a lot of room. And I can't wait for you to see it. All right, this is going to be a really cool show. But before we get into any of this stuff, you guys know the deal. We need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us right here, not only in the boat shop, but also around the waterfront. And then in exchange, we're going to be letting you in on a whole lot more ways to make your boat ship shape. George, you know, the whites that I'm going to be able to get from up here are going to be amazing. Look at this. Ship Shape TV, where boat improvement lives, is made possible by the entire collection of beautiful Sunbrella fabrics. Sunbrella, the only fabric to offer both design and performance above and below deck. And by Yamaha, reliability starts here. There's no other place you'd rather be than on the water living your passion. Whether it's a serene day at the lake, cruising the coastline, or using the wind to power you along your course, only Sunbrella fabrics combine style and comfort above and below deck with the absolute best performance and warranty on land and sea.
Exceptional voter experience inspires Yamaha owners for life. Reliability is a big reason why. And right now, Yamaha's Reliable Choice Sales event's a great reason to buy. Purchase a qualifying 2.5 to 350 horsepower Yamaha Outboard and get a choice of additional warranty protection or receive a generous dealership credit. Exceptional reliability, exceptional deals. It's Yamaha's Reliable Choice Sales event. Visit YamahaOutboards.com for further details. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. I'm Chris Massell, one of the mechanical engineers at Deco Boat Lifts. Since 1959, we've been leading the industry in both design and innovation, such as our patented cable retention system, so we can lift your boat quickly, quietly, and safely. I invite you to discover the Deco difference. Lift, Deco Boat Lifts, lifts boats with ease. Welcome back. You're watching ShipShape TV, boat improvement made easy. I'm like a candy candy store. We have successfully installed a filming platform so I can shoot overhead shots back at my studios in Jupiter, Florida. And welcome back. We've traveled across the state of Florida. We're now right on the Gulf of Mexico in Safety Harbor, just outside of Clearwater. And who we have back on ShipShape TV is uh, the president of Deco Boat Lifts. This is Rich Massal. And Rich, the filming platform uh, is based off of a particular category a boat list, and I was sure. kind of hoping maybe we could explain some of this to the audience to where maybe we could get them in a general direction on, hey, what might be best for my needs? Because again, a lot of people, especially in salt water, you, you need a boat lift. Sure. They, they don't want to bottom paint their boat every year. They don't want to have to worry about uh, sacrificial anodes getting disintegrated. There's a lot of advantages to having a boat lift. But the filming platform was based off of what style or category that well, you guys make? Well, the particular design that we used in your platform is called an elevator lift. Okay, an elevator lift. Yes. What and why is there an elevator lift? What, what, what's it about? Well, on narrow canals, it's uh, many times hard to pull a permit. Right. And uh, consequently, the elevator lift doesn't take up as big of a footprint and you can get a permit to put an elevator in on these narrow canals. Okay, so it'll not only lift the boat, but it kind of can take it out of the canal a little bit. Is there is there like a particular angle that is kind of coming up at? Well, Deco builds elevators in a number of ways. One, we build them on a 22 degree angle is our standard. We also build them vertical for PWC lifts. Okay, jet skis, stuff like yep. that. And then we'll do custom angles. There are applications where uh, a custom angle is what's required. A couple of years back, you came to my house in Jupiter, Florida, and you put in a type of boat lift to where you don't have upper metal beams. I yeah. love it. <laughs> when the boat's on the boat lift, it's still, it's a beautiful view. You don't have the obstruction of, of this metal. What do you call that? We call it a beamless lift. Right. We started making that lift approximately 10 years ago. How popular is it? It's very popular. What is a conventional boat lift? That is another category. Well, I, a conventional boat lift is what we call a four post lift. Mm -hmm. And in the four post lift, obviously it's got four pilings, two big upper beams, as the lifts get larger, we recommend more pilings under the lifts. So from uh, 4,000 pounds to 20,000 pounds, we typically will do that in a four post lift. Okay. As we go over 20,000 pounds, we typically do that either in six or eight poles. Again, heavier boats, deeper water, these are all reasons why you would put more pilings under the boat. You guys have been so innovative over the years. Um, been around since 1959. The company was based off of this gearbox. And uh, you kind of saw right at the beginning of the program, one of the gearboxes from Deco. Why is that so different? Apparently you're the only boat lift company that manufactures their own gearbox. Why is it different? What, what's it all about? Well, we actually manufacture our box uh, for a salt water environment. It's all aluminum and stainless steel. Once we've built the box, put it together, it's in an oil bath, it's continuously lubricated with nothing to rust. It was designed for a boat lift in salt water. You also came up with and patented something called the, the cable retention system. Yes. And this is a really big deal because apparently there's been issues over the years of these cables crossing, yep. fraying, and then breaking. It's a nightmare 
could potentially, it could be a nightmare. You solved it with this issue, tell us about it. Well, the, the cable retention system, which we call CRS, it's a deep groove winder, then we mount a plastic retaining clip over the top. Mm -hmm. So uh, when the cable wraps up into the winder, the clip is holding it in place. So it removes that problem of okay, the cable. Okay, so, so a cable can't jump. Can't bird nest, yep. Okay, fantastic. Guys, I don't know if you've ever thought about having a roof over your boat to kind of keep birds or sure. you know just any sediment in the, you know, the air dropping on your boat. Uh, very popular, okay, these boat houses. You've actually integrated the boat lift into it. Mm -hmm. Could you explain some of those? Yeah, that's a very popular design. Um, We've, we've done for many years, helped a lot of customers, where we've taken the boat lift and uh, put it on top of the poles and then built the roof right up on top of the lift. So the lift and the roof become an integral part of the whole dock design. Okay, how could somebody at home, if they're interested in getting their boat out of the water, how would somebody find a, a qualified uh, screened marine contractor, that's essential, um, how would they get directed into the proper category of boat lifts. How could they get a little design technique, you know, some uh, influence, some sure. ideas, and how could they size up what type of category lift they might uh, kind of find is the best to suit their needs. Where do we get everybody connected? There's a lot of parties here. Sure. Well, a great place to start is uh, at DECO's website, decoboatlift.com. It shows all the different style lifts that we manufacture, and it also gives good pictures of how these lifts are integrated and used in different dock designs. Once uh, the customer has a familiarity of the lifts and the potential of what he can do with them, we have a whole crew of salesmen at Deco that can help you design your dock, hook you up with a licensed marine contractor in your area, and get all this information to get you started. All right, well, guys, we need to take a real short time out, but I'm pretty excited about what's coming up next. There has been some massive engineering that's taken place here at Deco Boat Lifts in the world of welding, okay? And guys, this is cool, I'm, I'm into these tools. And you have never seen anything like this. We're gonna be covering it with who right after the break? Chris Bissell, who designed the entire weld department here at Deco, all state-of-the-art, brand new going to be pretty mac daddy. We'll cover it right after this. Stay bolted. Ship Shape TV will be back in a snap. Only one group strands every facet of the boat industry completely. Pacer Group, manufacturer of the finest, highest strand count marine wire made. World-class builders only use Pacer Group marine wire, the most flexible, easiest to work with wire created. Marine wholesalers know only Pacer Group delivers everything for the job. Connectors, tools, ID products, 18-gauge to 4 aught marine wire and more, all at pro, pro pricing. pricing. And now, boat owners, too, can get rewired in by connecting to PacerGroup.net, the flexible marine wire experts. Attention waterfront property owners already sold on the fact that synthetic lumber for decks and docks is far superior to the pitfalls of pressure treated wood. You know about the splintering and the weathering issues. However, not every composite board sold is alike. Some turn chalky, decay due to mold and mildew. Most fade in color with age, though not true when you opt for the best. Lumber Rock, the fastest growing manufacturer of synthetic lumber on and around the waterfront. Lumber Rock, we never fade away. Boaters know TaylorMade, but did you know that TaylorMade is the giant when it comes to manufacturing top-of-the-line pontoon boat furniture? Redoing a pontoon boat? Desire a new seating rearrangement? Go to TaylorMade's Platinum Series Pontoon Furniture Configurator. Like what you see? Use this promo code. Receive 10% off your order. It's like buying six pieces and getting the seventh free. Act now. Sale ends at the end of the month. Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvement? Well, you caught it right here at Ship Shape TV. Hey, John. Welcome to Plant One here at Deco Boat Lifts in Safety Harbor, Florida. We are on the west coast of Florida today here at Ship Shape TV. We're just outside of Clearwater, kind of across the bay from Tampa. And uh, who we now have on the program is one of the engineers at Deco Boat Lifts. This is Chris Massell. So much engineering and inventing has taken place in this company going all the way back to 1959. And uh, Chris, this is your specialty. You're like a mastermind when it comes to this. What are some of the uh, items 
or, or, or some of the products that you've created to really put a deco boat lift ahead of anybody else that's out there. What are, what are some of the things that you've engineered and invented over right. the years? So what we've always been known for is we manufacture our own gearbox in-house and raw materials. Right. And you know from there, we, we patented our cable retention system. That was another feature that George we did. George was just telling us about that. That is awesome. Right. Okay, right. It keeps the cable from crossing so you do, it doesn't weaken it to where it could snap, right. which is awesome. And we're one of the only boat lift companies in the world to manufacture all of our lifts out of a box beam aluminum construction. Okay, what, what does a box give you versus like a, a round beam? So a box beam, or, or compared to where you're using like a C-channel or an I-beam, which yeah. is industry standard, you know, box beam has, has two stanchions in the vertical direction and, and two stanchions in the horizontal direction. So it gives you bilateral support, so it's not as prone to twisting when you max load it. Okay, so so like an I-beam, where, where you just have a center column and you have, uh, you know, a sandwich sure. up on top, that could possibly twist over. It, it has the, 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 um, the weakness is, it doesn't do well at twisting. And sometimes you get forces on a boat lift. When a wind pushes the boat left yeah. and right in the slip, Absolutely. it gets a little left and right. Okay. And what happens is the I-beam weakens over time as it twists. Whereas the box beam, it doesn't twist. My house, I have what's called a uh, low profile lift. Okay. The beamless. It's a beamless lift. And um, you guys you guys literally created, this is, a, this is an entirely invention from Deco Boat Lift. Yeah, so the four motor beamless lift, we came up with that idea back in the early 2000s, and we engineered it to be a good-looking, strong, engineered lift. Okay, fantastic. Now you invented and, and kind of, you, you've done all the engineering for all of this apparatus behind us, and, um, and this is a welding set. How many different welding bays do you have here? So we have seven full-time welding bays within our welding facility, and what we ended up doing was we took all of our heavy equipment and moved it up onto boom arms so that all the equipment was off the floor so the welder could focus on welding and not moving heavy equipment. Okay, now uh, the arms fold and uh, that gives the welders what capability? So it knuckles in the middle, so it gives the welders the capability. If they have to weld in a tight spot, they can, they can bend the, the boom arm to get in that tight corner. Or if they have a long 40 foot beam, you know, typical to our boathouse. Oh, yeah. Um, what you get is you can extend that arm out so they can still weld 20 foot away. Okay, so, so you engineered kind of the apparatus to help with space and to uh, uh, get into ergonomics, okay, if you will, and, and that's key. But where the, the real brainchild uh, has come into this apparatus is actually what you've engineered into it to make a better weld, okay? Can, can we talk about that? Because that's the important stuff. Right. So we did a lot of research in early 2019, and, and, and the equipment that we purchased features state-of-the-art nano technology, nano technology processors. Right. So it gives you better arc and better stability within that arc. Now you're you're like the you, you're like the first to have this kind of stuff. What, what is that helping in? So it helps um, basically avoid porosity, and porosity in a weld is very bad. It, 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 isn't porosity the the kind of the trash that's, that's in a weld? Impurities, as they call it. Right. Impurities in the weld. Uh, you get pitting, you get weld fatigue, and you'll get weld cracking, which leads to weld failure. Now, Chris, I'm, I'm much of a more of a creative person rather than you know somebody that could come up with the engineering to, to, to design something like wave pulse. Okay, I have no idea what it is, but you sure do. Right. And and how did how did you engineer wave pulse into the system? So all of our welding equipment had to have things such as hot start. They had to have things such as DC wave pulse. They had to have a variable wave pulse frequencies. And what that does, it is a, it allows our, our welders to really control, you know, basically the dig and fill of the material so you get good penetration, you can control the the heat output. Okay. And and we get a strong, beautiful looking weld. Okay, so, so that has something to do with heat, with, with controlling? You want to control the heat input, that's correct. And that's what that does? That's correct. I know there's a lot of stuff here that you masterminded that's totally proprietary and everything, but uh, if people do have more questions, you, you can't get a final list than at Deco. Where, where can we live? Sure, we have a great website at decoboatlift.com. All right, now we're gonna have a little fun this week yeah. because you have on the schedule us to come up and film a new commercial for you guys. And I believe you're gonna be there with the Deco Girls. And um, it's gonna be amazing. But guys, right now we need to take a, another time out, but keep it right here because when we come back, Brian Farrell is gonna be talking with Ryle Landry over at Yamaha. 
And we're gonna be learning some more critical information on all of our outboard engines. Ship Shape TV will be right back. Boat Steering Solutions, every boater's BFF, is not a repair shop. We remanufacture hydraulic devices back to original factory specs. We disassemble, inspect, and replace all defective parts. Simply tell us what's wrong. Ship us your helm, cylinder, it's remanufactured. Then back to you in a day or two at like half the cost of buying new. Need hydraulic hose? Boat Steering Solutions, your official Sea Star authorized service center, is your BFF. The savings are here at BoatSteer.com. This is why we call them Ocean Tamer. Total body support and comfort. Shock absorbing marine beanbag chairs. Ocean Tamer, the most comfortable seat on board. Crafted from 100% marine grade materials. Built tough to handle the harsh marine environment. Water repellent. UV stabilized. Ocean Tamer marine beanbags. Four awesome styles. Tons of color choices. Can be personalized with boat name or logo. Finally, two nylon handles for ease of carrying or stowing. Order yours today. Ocean-Tamer.com. Are you tired of fighting foul odors in your car? The easy to use Auto Odor Eliminator from Starbright uses the power of chlorine dioxide to eliminate even the worst smells. From cigarettes and pets to fast food and sweaty kids, this EPA registered chlorine dioxide technology fights the odor causing bacteria, the source of the stink. Don't just cover it up, eliminate it with the Auto Odor Eliminator from Starbright. From the start of your outboard until you return to the dock, make sure your boating experience is always fun and enjoyable by remembering that Maintenance Matters, presented by Yamaha. So Brian, we've been talking about carburetors and how they control engine speed and get fuel into it. And what I want to do today is take a little time and talk about a modern four-stroke motor and how the electronic fuel injection system does those same functions. Alrighty. Hey guys, I'm Brian Farrell and I'm again with Rye Landry, the Product Education Manager with Yamaha Marine. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to start with is the throttle body. Now just like the throttle plate inside the carburetor mm -hmm. controlled engine speed by opening or closing, yeah. the throttle plate does the same thing but now it's electronically controlled. And in this case, as you can see, we have a single throttle plate as opposed to having three where we had three cylinders. Yeah. That's right. So now we just have one for all four cylinders on this actual motor. Okay and that gets into having intake runners that chambers the air to each individual cylinder. A absolutely right. So let's go to the other side of the motor and take a look at some of the other components that are part of the fuel injection system. Awesome. All right, so here we have the intake runners that are connected to that throttle body and they're funneling air to the intake ports on the cylinders. That's absolutely right. And the electronic side of the fuel injection system is actually going to measure how much air is coming in so it can determine how much fuel is going to need to be mixed with it. Okay. Just like we were doing on a carburetor, but we did it mechanically. mechanically yeah. That's right. So now if we come over here, we have our lift pump. This is our low pressure pump. And it's actually going to draw fuel from our fuel tank through our water separator. Mm -hmm. And then it's actually going to supply it to the vapor separator tank. Now inside the vapor separator tank, we actually have our high pressure fuel pump. So that's a very important component inside there. Now, inside this VFT, there is also a fuel filter, right? Absolutely right. And unfortunately, that's often forgotten during a service, but it's a very f important filter for your fuel injection okay. system to make sure that contamination doesn't get to your fuel injectors. Okay. So from the VFT, we then have a, a fuel line that goes to the fuel rail, to the injectors, and that's where it's actually spraying fuel. Absolutely right. And the ECM itself is going to be what's measuring how much air is going in. It'll determine how much fuel is needed at mm -hmm. that point in time. And you're going to actually inject it in individually at the right time in the right cylinder. Awesome. Now, don't forget, just because fuel injection systems are more reliable than what we used to have with carburetors, they do still need to be maintained. And if you want to find more information about that, go to maintenance.yamahaoutboards.com. Why is Sea Hunt now the number one selling fiberglass center console style boat 18 to 30 feet in America? Because when you buy a Sea Hunt, you get so much more. More standard features, more efficient running hulls. Look, guys, I'm running 34 miles an hour on just one engine. More cockpit space, more family time out on the water, more fishable, more funnable, so much more affordable. Sea Hunt, more, more, more. 
Now in our 45th year, KenCraft introduces the all-new 2020 KenCraft Bay Rider Bay Boats and Skiffs, powered exclusively by Yamaha, specifically designed to fish hard, specifically designed to cruise well with your family. Can there really be one boat that does both exceedingly well? Yes, there can, with a KenCraft. KenCraft, top-tier fit and finish. KenCraft, only the best, most expensive marine hardware integrated. Can it be yours? Of course it can, affordably. KenCraftBoats.com I'm Chris Massell, one of the mechanical engineers at Deco Boat Lifts. Since 1959, we've been leading the industry in both design and innovation, such as our patented cable retention system, so we can lift your boat quickly, quietly, and safely. I invite you to discover the Deco difference. Lift, Deco Boat Lifts, lifts boats with ease. <laughs> Big news! Full episodes are now available on the Shipshake TV YouTube channel. Hit subscribe, and every time a program posts, you'll be personally notified. Guys, we're actually, uh, we're in Jupiter, Florida. This is, uh, this is a gentleman's uh, house called Nathan Cable. And uh, pretty apropos that we're talking about the cable retention system. It which is. I think. We love having the cable retention system here at Jupiter. Nathan just ordered uh, a, a Deco boat lift. And, and what type of uh, boat lift do you call it? You got a beamless lift. Okay, and, and it's a beautiful pursuit, Nathan. Um, so this is also kind of known as the low profile lift where it doesn't hamper your view with the water. The beamless lift uses four individual gear boxes and they can be operated independently or, or all at the same time to lift the front of the boat, the back of the boat, and tilt it any way you want. Where it doesn't hamper your view in the backyard, you can still see the beautiful water. You don't have a big ugly upper beam. That's correct. Or whatever, which is really cool. Um, also, hey Chris, man, great job in the commercial. Also, th this engineer over here, okay, what an unbelievable job he did with the overhead welding system, George. Oh my gosh, that factory is coming together. And I know that you are really picking up a lot of business and you need to really be just precise and, and, and get these things out perfectly to the customers and that's really going to speed up the process. The process has really gotten faster because of the overhead welding system. We used to get a bottleneck at welding, which we don't have anymore. The efficiency of having that system has uh, really in improved the flow in the factory. Okay, well, it, it was really fun filming the commercial. This is a, we were just filming the new Deco uh, boat lift commercial today with the girls. Thank you, very nice job. The Deco uh, by girls. By the way, we, we have a lot of people that we need to thank who helped make today's show possible. Uh, naturally, all the experts in the marine industry. Uh, George, your, your brother Richie, unbelievable. Uh, most importantly, we got to thank everybody at home. Thanks so much for hanging out with us right here on the beautiful water's edge for the last half hour. I'm John Graviscus. George Massal, we'll see you on the next go around. George, I was thinking about you know, that lift, that elevator lift on the canal that I was talking about. Closed captioning provided by the over two decade video library at the all new Shipshape TV website. Available now worldwide online with paid subscription. Makes a great gift with a special boater search engine for ease of use. Hurry, the introductory price ends soon. So watch any episode, old or new, on any device at the all new ShipshapeTV.com. We're Siren Marine. We design and build technology that gives you the power to know whether your boat is safe, secure, and ready to enjoy. The Siren Marine MTC is a practical solution that lets you connect to your boat from anywhere and monitor all your critical systems such as battery, bilge, temperature, shore power, and so much more. Never again be in the dark about your boat status. With the MTC, you'll have peace of mind and a better boating experience.